<laughs> well, here to celebrate the 15th anniversary of The Chase, please welcome Sean Wallace and Anne Hegarty. <laughs> Oh, okay. it's all right. Oh, I'm not very good at getting on. There you they're go. Not, they're not the easiest. easiest. Right. Do you know what? Welcome. You even look Just scary there, walking out then. Hello, Sean. Hello, I'm I'm good, thank you. Yeah. See, without the, the normal kind yeah. of yeah. attire, um, just want to say, we were talking earlier about fitting in and, you know, if you're the new girl in town, new boy in town, you were on the very first series of The Chaser. The world's one. first Chaser, yep. So how did that come about? Did you see well, advertisers, someone contact you? No, what happened, I was contacted in the autumn of 2008 and asked to uh, take part in the audition for what was called an exciting new quiz show concept. And I'd actually retired from quizzing because I'd just lost the final of uh, Are You On Eggers on a rival uh, television channel. <laughs> So they asked me 30 questions. I got 28 out of 30. They said to me, what am I doing quizzing-wise? So I said, um, well, I've retired. I said, oh, by the way, I'm on Are You an Egghead? They said, how did you do? I said, I'm not telling you. You want to see how good I am? You watch it. <laughs> so I then walked out. So uh, when they showed me losing um, to um, on December the 2nd, 2008, the following day I was asked to go to a pub on a grazing road. I walked in, I've looked to my left, I've seen... Uh, some ITV commissioners looked to my right and I've seen some contestants. We played the very first chase. Game. Did it there and then in a pub? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Wow. And then, Anne, a year later... Um, it was not a year, it was series, this next uh, series. Yes, and I also took part in the second series of Are You an Egghead? And I ended up coming third, whereas he was second. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I didn't sort of think much more about it, but what I now realise is that did kind of put me on the map. Uh, and it meant that, that uh, they came looking yeah. for me. They came that. looking for you, yeah. headhunted. Yeah. She was so good. I, I was so glad I didn't meet her in the first series because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she is really good. And first woman on The Chase, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah. indeed. Yeah. We didn't have another woman till 2015, which yeah. is when Jenny and Jenny. Vixen Ryan joined. And what about fitting in? Because obviously they've done a series without you. Well, I remember saying to them, look, you know, I know we get paid per show, so when you have three chasers instead of two, obviously that means you all get less money, so I apologise. But they both said to me, look, <laughs> you know, we, we knew we had to have a female chaser, so, you know, we are, we are expecting that, you know, and you're good. Uh, and, and they were fine with it. Mm. I always say when you add a new person, you know, there, there, there's, there's this thought of, well, the pie is now going to be divided into smaller slices. But on the other hand, they may... The new person may actually be able to make the pie bigger. Mm. You know, you may make the show more popular, um, get more viewers, more ratings, uh, and, you know, the number of shows mm. may go up and everyone gets more of everything. Yeah, and I certainly sense. wasn't looking at the money aspect uh, mm. because of the fact that I was looking at the quality of... Uh, the quizner is joining the team. Can I and, um... just add, he's a highly paid lawyer. He doesn't have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, it, must be, it must be great fun working with Bradley. Brilliant. It's Fantastic, yeah. Absolutely super. He's so funny, isn't he? Yeah, he's he really, great really host is. Of it. The yeah. first time I met Bradley was when we did the uh, original pilot in the old Granada Studios in Manchester, and it was the day before my 49th birthday. So when I walked in, I thought to myself, oh, he'd be a good host. You know, he's a bit witty at times. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you know, and it was him who came up with the concept of being the contestant's friend. Mm. And I thought to myself, that's a masterstroke. Mm -mm. Yeah. So we celebrated my 49th birthday. We then did the very first show, which Mark did, and he sadly lost. I then did the second show, which I won. Uh, then um, the rest, they say, is history. But he does lose it a lot, doesn't he? Like, he, he, yeah, he starts laughing a lot. And you always stay kind of... I, I hope we face. do. I mean, the, the most famous one was the, you know, a certain German skier. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, but when, I, when I, I watched that, that, I mean, I, I felt at the time, you know, I thought, I must not corpse, I must not corpse, <laughs> it, I must not look at Bradley, because if I look at him, I'm going to corpse. Uh, and then, at last, I did lose it, and I thought, oh, no, I've just been so unprofessional. But actually, when you watch it back, it's... I lost it exactly the right moment. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Wasn't yeah. Deliberate. It wasn't yeah. deliberate. It just worked really well that way. And I, I think... That's what the show, uh, you know, uh, sort of catapulted itself into the national consciousness because the, I was surprised that the question Matt you managed to get through, uh, uh, the sort of census, but it was such a wonderful question. And mm. from there, uh, the public have uh, been totally addicted to it. And everywhere I go, no matter I go in the world, were you uh, there with a Spanish fellow question? <laughs> no, Dan. <laughs> what uh, so, about... 
<laughs> oh, God, no, it's just, I want to know about your names. How did you get, like, Dark Destroyer and the Governor? Like, how did that come about? Right, now, when I first started, I was called the uh, Legal Eagle, but then Bradley started calling me the uh, Dark Destroyer. Now, as I say, let me just make it clear. Uh, there was no uh, sinister overtones. Uh, I'm dark because I'm black. I destroy people because of my intellect. <laughs> so that's the way I... I <laughs> look. You were happy. You were happy with that. that. I love that. <laughs> But the only reservation I had was that I was going to run into Nigel Benny and said, Oh, you need my nickname! <laughs> but I had run into Nigel Benny, so hopefully we can get him onto one of the celebrity versions and we can sort of have a sort of dark destroyer sort of stare off. And, and, governor, and governor? Um, I was originally going to be the headmistress, and then during rehearsals, Bradley started calling me the governess. And I said to the producers, I'd rather be called that. Right. Uh, I've given various explanations, but the truth is, I just feel that a, a governess is more of a free agent. Than a headmistress. Mm. She has got the freedom to be Mary Poppins, if you want. And I'm, I'm totally going to fly in with an umbrella. Oh, we can help you with that. <laughs> Don't take my job. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we're up against you in the NTAs. How do you think you're going to weather? Uh, you beat us last year. We're not having that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've got two chances. We need to win. <laughs> Slim and none. <laughs> Ooh. Mark has now laid down. Well, okay. we're up. We're up for. Um, we're up for um, best daytime against you lot, uh, and then beat the chasers <laughs> and various other people. And beat the chasers is up for best quiz or game show. Okay. Uh, and Bradley's up for best TV presenter. So everyone, please get voting <laughs> and vote for us. Wow, this is, we absolutely yeah. love this. Obviously, you know what? Made the best show win. Made the best show. No, may we win. <laughs> <laughs> Competitive um, much. The anniversary episode, so 15-year anniversary episode of The Chase is ITV tonight at 5pm. They're not even allowed to tell us what's going to happen. It's so <laughs> exciting. Well, if you looked at this sort of uh, clip, you'd be able to work out who the uh, two are. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Well, How are they going to win? We're They're not, not going to win against We're not going to give it, give it no, away. Be, no, not, not he, to Keep watching time. and you will understand. Exactly. Right, okay. uh, Listen, and you've got to come on, Kel. To have, no, I'm yes, so bad. Lovely to have you both here. Please thank Anne Hegarty, the governess, Sean Wallace, the governor.